Back in early November, my dad's company organized a trip. So, my family and I, we went on a trip. We would like to say thank you for choosing Air Asia to the destination of welcome to Kota Kinabalu. We first had lunch at their famous Doko pork noodles. To be honest, it was kinda average, I guess. At the next stop, we were first greeted by the locals and they had a short little performance for us. Our first tourist attraction spot was Tampa Ruli Suspension Bridge, a popular spot for locals and tourists alike. We then drove a scenic two-hour drive into the fog before finally we arrived at a short pit stop at Himban Bongo where we went for something a little bit different. Wild Ball Meat. Next, we picked up some fruits at Pekan Nabulu Market. Before we reach our stay for the night at the Cottage Hotel. We then had steamboat for dinner and enjoyed a fruit unique to the Borneo Islands, Tara. The next day, I woke up early to catch sunrise on the majestic Mount K. We then kicked off day 2's exploration, starting at Diza Dairy Farm, otherwise known as Little New Zealand, where we saw some nice flowers, some cows, and we fed some too. We then journeyed on, and after like a 30 minutes hike, we finally managed to see the rare Riflesia. My family then took a quick dip in the pouring hot springs, while I went ahead to explore the nature trail. We then got close and personal with some fishes at the River Fish Spa. Before we hit the night market at Gaia Street. We should have been good if we didn't have dinner. I didn't mention the food on this tour was kinda average, so I'll skip showing them. Day 3 then starts with a 2 hour drive to the jetty. And another 1 hour ferry ride to Pulau Manta Nani. otherwise known as Mermaid Island. Here, I went and learned for the very first time scuba diving. It's a totally different world. Simply just breathtaking. We 
we then ferry it back to mainland. Before travelling again, and we stop for a scenic pig stop. Before arriving at Kawa Kawa River Cruise to sightsee the endangered long nosed monkey. And as the sun sets into a magical display of fireflies. The last day. We went to a series of touristy checkpoints to Mustafa Tower or the Battery Tower. Sabah's iconic Ping University. Kota Kinabalu City's floating moss. Lastly, we visited the cultural village, learning the local indigenous ways of living. Where we learn about music, dance, fashion and clothing, and lastly, fire making. We then tried out their local delight, silkworms. A uh, barbecue, of course. <laughs> we then post and played with some of their local tools and toys. Lastly, we ended the trip with a grand performance. And that concludes my family trip to Sabah, Kota Kinabalu.